Welcome back to another edition of TEC Tube. This time we're going to be talking about the new Bryant Axion rooftop units. There's a lot of new technology in these units that you're not used to seeing on rooftop units, beginning with the refrigeration circuiting. These come in single and dual stage units. On the two stage unit, we're going to use a two speed compressor and we're going to run it at the typical 67 and 100% capacity like you'd see on a residential type system. And when it comes into the evaporator coil, we're going to actually have that split. So Stage one will go to the TXV, which will modulate just like it normally would, and that will go to the evaporator. But then stage two of the compressor will open up a solenoid valve, which will allow refrigerant to flow into the rest of the evaporator as well. Let's take a look inside and see what we can see in there. All right, now we got the whole cabinet opened up. We can take a look at the inside here. Right off the bat, the first thing you notice that's different is gonna be the blower motor, but it's totally different than what we're used to seeing inside a packaged rooftop unit. This is a direct drive ECM, which is not that weird to have in a rooftop unit, but it does mean we have no pulleys and no belts to mess with, right? This is also gonna have a totally different design. If you look down at the top over here, up top we actually have our blower wheel, and if you could see, that's in black, and if you could see down there that um, silver color, that's actually the stator, and together those guys are gonna work together to generate the static pressure that we need, but no belts, no shafts, no pulleys, uh, nothing like that to have to mess with. We'll set up all the air flows, via the communicating circuit board on this guy. That's gonna be the other thing that you'll notice that's different on here is we have a brand new design on the circuit board itself. All right, and the main reason for that is we have to have adjustment ability for the airflow to communicate to that fan. So not only will we be able to change the airflow CFM from here, but we also have the ability to do two speed fan control with this motor without having a VFD, which is kind of nice. We'll do a separate video for you guys on how to set up the airflow on these guys. But for now, let's go ahead and turn this on. You can hear it run. So right now we just put it in the fan on mode, so you can actually hear the fan. And that's it, it's pretty quiet. Uh, definitely quieter than any blower you're normally working on. So we'll let you guys hear the indoor fan section, now we'll take a look at the outdoor fan section, and I will see will run that in conjunction with the compressor. We do have a little bit different style fan here. If we take a look down in this unit, you notice that we actually have a composite blade that helps us out with keeping things balanced. You probably can't see it very well, but there's a black shroud around the outside that's to help improve the efficiencies. And this design is not new, it's just new to the rooftops. We have the exact same design in the air-cooled condensing chillers. Um, so this is a little bit just different design to have on a rooftop unit. There are one and two speed versions of this depending on whether you have a low, or whether you have a standard, I should say, or high efficiency. So let's go ahead and kick this guy on. You can hear the fan and compressor. It'll obviously be a little louder than the indoor unit, uh, but it still be pretty good for sound. So that's what it sounds like when you're like literally standing right above it. So it is obviously louder than the indoor unit, but it's still pretty decent from a sound perspective. Not a lot of shaking here. Things are pretty well balanced with that composite fan. We hope that gives you guys a closer look at the new Bryant Axion rooftop unit. Obviously a completely different blower assembly on this guy, different refrigeration circuiting, a different condenser fan, lots of new stuff going on. We'll have some follow-up videos for you guys on how to set some of that stuff up. Thanks for joining us.